Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Aquarius. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. What do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs? In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked below. As well as a bit about your finances. Oh my goodness. All right, so you are moving forward, Aquarius, and it's going to be your month. So happy birthday. Do let me know when is your birthday. Um, the thing is that something is being shaken up, Aquarius. Something is being shaken up. Um, but it is, it's, it's like it's awakening this very powerful energy within you where you're realizing your worth you're realizing your value you've gotten strong you know um i feel like there is definitely something you don't want to take part in um because your ego your ego is not letting you take part in it it's like, you know, and by ego, I mean the side of you that is standing up for you, that is standing up for Aquarius, okay? Because it's almost like I've gone through something tough. I have learned a lesson and I don't want to back down. So this disruption energy is like, you know, something that is being um, shaken up. Oh my goodness, like I feel like this is going to be a month for you where your persona, everything is just very strong. It is just very, very strong Aquarius. What you say, what you do, how you present yourself. My goodness, like this is like a very strong energy. Okay, I can already feel it. Some of you could be in a very authoritative position, maybe your business owners or like I don't know, like even if you're not that, but it's just like something about you, okay? It's, it's and I love it. it. It is looking very magnetic to me, okay? Some of you may have Leo uh, or Scorpio in your chart, okay? All right, look at this great big love. My goodness, this is beautiful. I love this already. So let's see, what do we have for Aquarius? You have the strength card again showing up for you. It's either that you're going to be dealing with, an, uh, with, a, with a Leo or you may have strong Leo placements. Show me what's happening for Aquarius. Yeah, I can see that you walked away from something, didn't you? But at least you don't have regrets because it's like, you know, you're like, okay, I tried to fix the situation. I tried to do what I could do um, to fix this, to make it right. And it didn't go right. It didn't go as planned. So fine, I'm going to emotionally withdraw from the situation. I'm going to walk away. So it does look like something that you were pursuing, something that you were very serious about, or maybe not that serious, but at least you were pursuing it. I don't know how serious you were about it, but you were pursuing it. And it's almost like you are letting it go now. Okay. You're letting it go. You're releasing it. You're emotionally withdrawing. See, there you are. Detachment. Thinking more from logic, you know. Um, it's almost like nobody can make you change your mind. Nobody. <laughs> um, this is nice. I feel like you're standing up for yourself. This is a lot of personal power, growth. 
healing, um, detachment, being able to really discern. Okay, this is a very, very beautiful energy. Show me more. Who do we have here? Of course, the Wheel of Fortune. The lovers, the magician. You know, those sad days where you were up at night, where you were stressed out about something, they're done. They're gone, <laughs> okay? Um, because what you're manifesting and what the future holds for you is a pleasant, it's a pleasant surprise because now you have the wheel of fortune. You're headed towards some form of a change, Aquarius. You are, you know, and this change is a part of your destiny. Some of you need to maybe change something or you need to take new steps towards something with the Page of Pentacles. Um, there could be something new in terms of your money. Like there's a new path here. Okay. <laughs> Some of you could also be getting news, okay? Some of you could be getting some form of news or communication. It could be in regard in regards to your job, okay? When it comes to love with the four of swords energy, it's like you are putting love aside. You know, it's like, I need to take a break. But there could be somebody who's wanting to offer you something, even in love. Show me more for what's going to happen for Aquarius. There is a cycle that is ending here. Mm -hmm. there's definitely a cycle that is coming to an end and it looks like you've made peace with the fact that there's something you need to let go of and it's like okay I need to let go of this to be able to welcome new things or to be able to really you know manifest the change that I want to manifest in my life chariot two of cups you're definitely going to be manifesting love. And I see a lot of determination. I see a lot of forward movement. I also see choices being made. Okay, for some of you, I'm even seeing possibility of traveling or movement or some form of change in your life. Okay. Um, <laughs> Not a pentacles to the two of cups. Okay. Somebody that you're dealing with now, you saw that these two cards came out on their own. And previously, when I picked up the chariot card, they were there too. So it almost looks like there is somebody, Aquarius, who really wants to be with you. But they're, they're taking things slow. They're taking things slow. Tell me more about this person. Oh no, please don't be the Ten of Wands. Oh my goodness, the Ten of Swords. <laughs> this is somebody who watches you. Aquarius, this is somebody who wonders about you. They're definitely like at a distance at the present moment. And with the Two of Cups, there's still love that they feel for you, but they're seeming like, you guys are seeming apart, okay? They can feel your absence. And I feel like it's your silence that bothers them. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, a lot of focus on work, a lot of focus on money, goals, um, even manifesting money, okay? Taking care of your finances, all of that. Show me more. Outcome from the reading is the Eight of Wands, which is again communication, forward movement. This is uh, some form of even news coming in for you. Now, there are so many eights in your reading. You have eight, eight, 
eight and then that is also an eight so there, there are lots of eights in your reading which talks a lot about personal power okay but do google what that means for you you could be seeing a lot of eight you could be seeing 11 11 there are two tens in your reading too which signifies an ending and a new beginning okay some form of a cycle is coming to an end here for sure show me um the advice for aquarius six of pentacles seven of swords all right so your advice has a lot to do with being careful with something especially where money is involved first of all don't invest money unless you know what you're getting into secondly this is telling you to be very strategic with your resources whatever it is okay and when it comes to relationships it's talking about only investing in relationships where you know you you know you're respected you are you know not taken for granted true love this is a romance of a lifetime mm -hmm. Ooh, trust reconciliation there is somebody who really wants to get back together with you because this person is realizing that they're in love with you okay but apart from that there are also other changes like i said it's not just about this person there are many other things that are unfolding for you now aquarius i will be linking your extended underneath the video and in the extended i will clarify more for the person that you're connecting with um how are they thinking feeling about you where is it going with them and more about your finances so do check it out it'll be linked below so now let's read for you number 26 great big love love without conditions romantic love and how that experience changes you deep and profound harmonious connection soulmate oh my goodness this card is talking about a soulmate and a harmonious relationship which means it's 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 you know the same from both sides although this card may pretend such an intimate connection you don't have to wait for a partner to experience it you're being invited now to explore explore love in all its beauty there is a heightened sense of awareness in the beginning stages of a relationship when nothing else matters but who is in front of you you see them you see yourself in them and you move in sync with the all oh, energies of your hearts you surrender to the magic you share and engage in harmonious d dance that is seamless and th sorry that is seamless in its movements rising and falling with each moment each breath it's it's kind of like that honeymoon stage kind of love okay um that's it aquarius those were the messages that showed up for you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link below for further details if you're interested take care and bye bye, bye.